So the question is, is there a way, an easy way to figure out my capital gains tax? So first, disclosure. I'm not a CPA, I'm not an attorney, and I'm not even allowed to give advice or specific information on figuring tax. But before you go to your CPA, here's the, the, the way you can really look at it. So first, let me say the Biden administration has been trying very hard for the last couple of years to actually change the capital gain structure and charge more uh, tax. But for the time being, we are grandfathered in, and here's how it goes. I'm talking about long-term capital gains tax, which means that you've held the property for at least a minimum of a year. Uh, the federal tax is based on how much your income is. Your income is determined by your normal income, your regular income, and the income that is excess for the sale of the property. So likely you'll be in the highest bracket. The highest bracket is currently 20%. Take that 20% federal and add it to California, highest bracket 13.3%. You're at 33.3%. Now, don't forget, if you're single, you take $250,000 off. If you're married, you take $500,000 off. But here's how it goes. You take the price you paid for the property, try to remember what that is, you have, an, uh, you have proof of that somewhere, and try your best to come up with the estimate, or better yet, the evidence of what you've put into the property for improvements. Now, you can't double dip. You can't uh, charge twice for a roof over the last 30 years. But the improvements are the things that made your property increase in value. Those are deductible. You may also deduct the cost of your selling expenses and your real estate commission. So basically, here's how it is. Take the price you sell your property for, subtract from it the price that you paid originally, your cost basis, or if there was a step up in basis, whatever that is. Deduct now the price, the amount of money you spent on improvements. Deduct now the cost of your selling expenses. And finally, deduct either $250,000 if you're single, and we're talking your primary residence here, your primary residence only, and $500,000 if, if you're married. Uh, and then the bottom line is taxed, both state and federal, up to 20%, up to 13.3%. I hope that helps.